new Google Sites is great for student portfolios. Hit the red plus button and we've started our new site. Add a title, give the site a name, and add a text box for a welcome message. This is the kind of site we use for student portfolios in Year 4-6 to six at Tewton Primary School. Now I'll choose Pages, and then the New Page button. Type the name of the page, choose Done, then choose Insert Drive Folder, and select My Showcase Folder. Then I'll choose the COG, and change to Grid View, then choose Done so we can see the larger folder icons and drag to resize to fit the page. I can also add a page for individual folders by choosing Pages, then the New Page button, give the page a name, then choose Insert Drive Folder, select the folder, resize, choose Grid View, then Done, and now larger thumbnails are visible. Visitors will be able to open the documents by choosing these thumbnails. Now I can keep adding pages for drive folders as needed. I can also devote single pages to showcase one item, such as a slideshow. To do this, I add a page, choose Insert from Drive, locate the showcase in Drive, select it, and then resize it to fit. Then I choose the cog button, Set the presentation to Auto Start and Loop Playback. Set the delay time and choose Done. Now the slideshow will auto run. I can also add pages for documents, spreadsheets, charts, images, videos, calendars and other digital items. Pages are listed from left to right at the top of the page and a More button provides access to pages that don't fit. Before I publish, I can choose the Preview button to see what the site will look like on a computer, tablet or mobile phone screen. When I'm ready to go live, I can choose Publish, give the site an address, if it's available, a little blue tick appears. Then I set the site to be visible only to people at my school or to anyone on the web, and then choose Publish. Then I can view the published site. But just to be sure, I'm going to view the site in incognito mode so I can see what it looks like to someone who is not logged in to my account. First, I'll copy the URL of the site so I can paste it in to an incognito tab. Uh-oh, there's nothing there. This is a common mistake. For your site content to be visible, it needs to be shared in Drive. So I'm going back to Drive, selecting my Showcase folder, choosing the Share icon, adding my class email address, and if I want to be more public, choosing Advanced and Set Sharing to Public on the Web. Now if I go to an incognito tab, I'll see the site as a random web visitor would see it. This time the content is visible. What a great way to showcase student work.